Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. All right, we're going to wait until they get seated. As they do. Welcome to our morning worship service. We're glad you all are here. We have quite a few visitors with us today, and we are glad to have them with us here. Somebody from Amsterdam, I think, that's going to be taking some pictures for the Washington Post, so you better watch out. We also, <laughs> so, so uh, but in our services are being streamed live, so we're not unaccustomed to being photographed and sent all around the world, so we're glad that... Uh, that we're being noticed. We also want to know that we have a couple of other special visitors with us today, and we hope they don't just become special, but become regular as they continue to worship with us. And we want to recognize them uh, as we do all of our visitors at the appointed time. We're gonna do that after we pass the peace, but I want you to know that they're here. So as you pass the peace to them, you can welcome them in a special way we have the new principal of Barrow High School and his wife. And I don't know if his family's with him, but I see, I you know, he's shaking his head, the kids are not here. Uh, they are, they're joining in with the late getter up us probably here in <laughs> Barrow. So we're glad Robbie Swinton, I mean, let me make sure I get that right. So, uh, Swinton? Swinton. Swinton, yeah, without the time. Swint. Robbie Swint, the new principal of Barrow High School is worshiping with us this morning and also Coach Battle coming off a great victory by his football team. They beat the team 40 to 8 yesterday. Let's give him a big hand. We always love our sports teams here in Battle. Uh, he's joined us too for worship this morning, and we're glad that they're here. Let's pass the peace to each other with these words peace be unto you and also to you, and make our visitors especially feel welcome. Let's do that right now. if we can. All 
right, we have other visitors we want to make sure everybody knows about. Let's go back to our seats, everyone. Everyone, we have a new musician, and we introduced him last week, but we're going to do it again. And I think he brought his family with him as well, and we're glad to see them in our audience as well. Poussant, I always get that last name. La Lama. La Lama. And, yeah, he's going to be available. We were thinking of bringing him on. He's going to work with the choir. And he's going to be available all the way to do it. Yeah, let's give him a big hand for that. We really need that. All right. On the announcement front, Wendy wanted me to let you know this insert from the Vacation Bible School wonderful report on all of the fine work that was done by so many volunteers, as well as over 169 participants from the community. Let's give our kids a big hand for coming to Vacation Bible School. <laughs> Wendy couldn't be here, she did the evening service, but she, look at all those volunteers on the back, and we really appreciate every single one of them. Don't forget, immediately after the service, I will not be doing the normal benediction at the back of the door. I'll be doing it from up here. We're going to have a five minutes, I mean five minutes, hopefully, hopefully, congregational meeting has been advertised two weeks in advance. So we're going to have that meeting to elect one more session member. So if I ask you to remain seated, you can do so. It's not going to be very long. If you want to get up and leave, that's okay too, if you're visiting. But uh, that's going to be right after the worship service this morning. It'll be about a five-minute congregation meeting. Are there other announcements that we need to make? Amen. Let us stand now and sing number 104 in your blue book. Oh, worship the King.
seat yourselves. Please turn to the confession in your book. <coughs> Let us pray together. Almighty God, since thou delay with so much forbearance the punishments which we have deserved and daily draw on ourselves, grant that we may not indulge ourselves but carefully consider how often and in how many ways we have provoked our wrath against us. May we learn humbly to present ourselves to thee for pardon and with true repentance employ thou mercy. With all our heart we desire to submit ourselves to thee, whether thou chastises us or according to thine infinite goodness, forgive us. Let our condition be ever blessed, not by flattering ourselves in our apathy, but by finding thee to be our kind and vulnerable Father, reconciled to us in thine only begotten Son, the Church said. And now for a moment of silent confession as we confess our sins to God silently. God's forgiveness is extraordinary for our most personal, intimate failings and our insensitivity to things that seem beyond our power. God's love is extraordinary by using even us to bring great blessings know today. Your sins are forgiven, and the church said. Amen. Let the children come here and <coughs> Jesus loves the little children. something that occurs in so many places and we don't even know about it. And that's God's presence throughout the universe and the world. Our message today, we're going to talk about the divine melody. Did y'all know that God is a musician? And he's pretty good. He can sing, he can play every instrument, and he's good at it. All you have to do is watch nature and listen to the rain fall, and listen to the wind blow, and listen to the birds chirping outside. The snowbirds up here. Listen to the divine melody of God. And when we can tap into that melody, and realize that we are part of that too. We can experience God in a way that we've never experienced God before. How many of you play an instrument of some kind? Music, music, musical instrument. All right, you're gonna have to work on that. Where's the principal? He's back there. Yeah, we, we're gonna. <laughs> we, yeah, an instrument or something. How many of you can sing? Yeah, okay, yeah, Lucas can sing. Amen? They can sing. So, but we can talk together. We can talk, chat, have conversation, but not at one time. But we can sing at one time. We can play instruments at one time. We can make music together. And when God makes music in us, it's a divine melody. And he said, divine melody. Come on, come again. Divine 
Catholic funeral services, one on Sunday and one on Thursday. We want continuous prayers for the families that lost loved ones. May God continue to comfort them. Are there others that are in need of prayer this morning that we can call? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Patrick? Yeah, I have a couple of um, prayer for my son who hurt his, who got hurt on his way at the camp. We managed to make it home. We aggravated his injuries. Pray that he heal his knees. And my daughter was who was struggling with drugs and alcohol. I pray that she recovers. Thank you so much. James? Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, thank you, Bill. Thank you. Pray for the Old Testament Bible translators. We are meeting this week. We have uh, our consultants who are here, um, here in the church. There's Jeff Green and Miles Bleach from Toronto, Canada, our neighbors. And um, Esther Kinney. You're also from Canada, right? New Mexico. All right. Why don't y'all please stand? Let's welcome them properly. They are returning, two of them anyway. Yeah, we've had we've had two of them before. They're becoming regulars. I'm ready to sign them up. But we're glad and we're certainly glad to have you as well. Are there others to be prayed for? Hi Nan Thank you. Thank you. Pray for my boys, Lamar and Lamar at 40, and Shake Carlos to the 45 anniversary in your church. They're heading over there. Thank you. Thank you. Pray for Walter at his junior, and my daughter, and my grandmother. Thank you so much. We know that prayer changes things. And because we know that, we don't just think it. We know it. We lift people up in prayer. Let us pray. Yes, ma'am, Mary. I thank God for my family that take care of me for their hunting. Especially when their daddy is gone up, 29 years. We are doing okay with that, like our father, my old sister. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Amen. Jamie Kidding. Who was it? Jamie Kidding. Okay. Any more? We don't rush this part of it. Olive, uh, my my uh, daughter in law, Olive Stackhouse, and her Keller family, her mom just died. Thank you. We were Kent and Vera Dixon's um, kids are traveling in the United States. Amen. Thank you. Let us pray. Merciful and mighty God, we bow our heads in as humble a manner as we know how. We lift you up with praise because you are worthy to be praised. You are almighty. You are omnipotent, omnipresent, and we thank you for that. We thank you for finding your way into our lives and for causing us to want to be present when we worship, when we pray, when we gather. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for all who are present this morning. Lord, open the gates of heaven and pour out a blessing for each and every one of them. We thank you for those names that were called and even the names 
that were thought about, that were not called, and even those who would like to be here but are not able to do so. We thank you for that. Lord, we ask that you go by the nursing homes, the convalescent homes, go by the senior center, go by places where people are ill and shut in and can't be with us today. We ask a special blessing upon them. We thank you for the presence of our translators and those who dedicated their life to bring the word of God in many forms and in many languages. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the presence of the leaders of, of our school systems, especially the incoming principal of Barrow High School and his family. We thank you for our coach of our football team and we thank you for all those who come to visit with us from far and near. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for doing for us what we cannot do for ourselves, realizing that we should do for ourselves those things that we ought to do. Give us the energy, the motivation, the inspiration that we might do what we ought to be doing each and every day of our life. We thank you for our leadership, the leadership of the North Slope, those who have been elected in civic positions, our assembly, our mayor, and the mayors across the slope, our village corporations, and those who are making possible the resources that many of us need in order to sustain our life. We thank you for our welding captains and our hunters and those who are providing for their families over thousands of years it's been done. And we have been blessed. We thank you, Lord, for our state government, our government in Washington, our Congress, those who are called to lead there. Let them study war less and conflict and more harmony and peace. And let that harmony and peace begin with us in our lives as we demonstrate to others the power of love and getting along. We pray now, Lord, that you would touch us through the prayer that you taught your disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and glory forever. Amen. comes from the book of Genesis. For the last several weeks, we've been talking about God's creation over seven days. Now we focus on God's salvation to those who were saved from the flood and how God took another look and said, I'd never do this again with water. And so we turn to the ninth chapter in the book of Genesis Verses 13 through 16. Please join me. There's a red Bible somewhere close by in your pew. If you don't have one, you'd like one, just raise your hand, somebody make sure you get one. Beginning at the ninth chapter, verse 13 through 16, page 13. Hear the word of the Lord from the Old Testament. I have set my rainbow in the clouds. 
and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on earth. The word of God for the people of God. Please stand as we sing together our congregational hymn, 502 in the Blue Books, Into My Heart. What's the number? Oh, that rings a melody. Okay, into my heart that rings a melody. My organ is still. 502. Ko emalata. Ya takatakai ki hetaloni 
Na ia i nga ngahi taloni e ua ful ma fa. Na i nofo i taloni e ua ful ma fa ko ia kakau ma tua ko na ai kofu hine hina pia ko ai i hona o kofu nga hakalau ni koula. Amen. I open my heart, my soul, my ears to learn from God. Agamao matiga elit kusiga siyuta ka elit chirumao. Amen. Nipiakteni, page 634. Tego anayaya inipiakteni. Nan rai doet kilagami. Tapko a kotigun tatu titao sang alunga. Tatu flu kuak agamaktua kilagami. Asi nipi tu sang a kara o kara manuvam nun. Nipa kluk tatitun o kalangaro. Mayorin uvunga. Tatu kit tatu kit jumarik pinsunik nalan neaktuanik. Uma akorun. Tabrava elit kusarik so angalan ngaganga. Asi tatu fluid umelgum akupitangi kilangmi. Tamna lo akupiruak akupitani. Asi tamna akupiruak tabrani. Kinakangaro akisuruam isingnam. Uyakam kipilakini ngatun. Uyakaublu kapirini ngatun. Ignitun, asi abadani umelgum ako piyutang isa wain po inarok kinakaktuak kinakaktuak kiblektuatun sungak sungaktuatun uyakaktun abadani umelgum ako piyutang isa ingam miut inuinyak si samanik umelgit ako ako piyutang is Asi aku pingarut inyu inyak si samat umeling nat anu kangarut katik tuanik ne aku kote kahluting kabek suanin maning ni ukalungi kadikta, amen. Now that same scripture in English. Again, the book of Revelation is indicated in your bulletin. The fourth chapter, verses 1 through 4, page 1917, in your pew Bibles. Hear the word of the Lord from the New Testament. After this, I looked, and there before me was a door standing open in heaven. And the voice I had first heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, come up here and I will show you what must take place after this. At once I was in the spirit and there before me was a throne in heaven with someone sitting on it. And the one who sat there had the appearance of Jasper and Kanoni, a rainbow resembling an emerald encircled the throne. Surrounding the throne were 24 other thrones, and seated on them were 24 elders. They were dressed in white and had crowns of gold on their heads. The word of God for the people of God. We always like to recognize our translators when they're present with us by taking hold of the Bible that has been so prodigiously created and developed and translated. So find one of those blue Bibles. It should be at the end of your end of the pew. End of the pew. There should be a blue Bible translated. A lot of energy, a lot of work, a lot of love on the part of all the members here as well as the translators. And we do this not for the camera, but we do it to recognize and appreciate you. Hold that Bible up. Everybody, everybody, hold one up. I don't see it in that back row. Yeah, there you go, there you go. So if you ask me, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. In my language. In my language. And I thank God for it. And I thank God for it. All right. Then you take that back with us. <laughs> we really appreciate all our translators. 
churches in all the world that they do. Also, there's a sheet of paper that has a song on it that I want you to join me in singing today. You're the choir and I'm the soloist. So always, so always the soloist. Yes. And we're going to sing it together. We're going to learn it together. We were pleased to rehearse on Wednesday with some people who came over to the mats. <clears throat> You'll know when to come in, just join me. Oh, it is Jesus. Oh, it is Jesus. It's Jesus in my soul. For I can't touch the hymn of his garment and his blood has made me whole. Come on in with us. Oh, it is Jesus. Oh, it is Is Jesus in my soul? For I have touched the hem of his garment, and his blood has made me whole. Somebody want to share a copy with the choir? Oh, it is Jesus. Oh, it is Jesus. Thank you. It's Jesus in my soul. For I have touched the hem of his gun.
absolute sway. Fill with the spirit. Till all can see Christ only always living in me. I can hear. My Savior calling, 593, I can hear my Savior calling, I can hear my Savior calling, take the cross and Follow, follow me. Verse 3, he will give me grace and glory. He will give me grace and glory. He will give me grace and glory and go with me, with me. Oh, the way. Please stand as we hum it. message comes from the book of Revelation. Preachers don't talk or preach about that much. But I like to preach on Revelation because it gives us a vision of what is to come. And I love talking about a rainbow. Somebody say rainbow. rainbow. That's a big deal. And when you start talking about a divine melody, you're talking about a rainbow. A rainbow is divine. Yes. It's a wonderful covenant God made with us that I will never destroy you by war again. Over the last seven weeks, we have been talking about a rainbow. We've been talking about the seven colors of the rainbow. We've been talking about what is called chakras or levels of energy. And we said we all have to pass through these chakras. The first three are easy. Because we all have to do them or we will die. The first one is food. Amen? How many like food? Oh, I love food. You can tell, right? I, I love it a little bit too much. And then we said control. We need a certain amount of control in our life, but control can get out of control. Amen? And when it does, it can create problems. But that's the second energy. Animals have to eat, so do we. Animals love control, so do we. And then the third chakra is super important because it has to do with the gift of procreation. Sex has been given a bad name. That is one of the most precious gifts that God ever gave 
Not only humanity, but all living things. Everything on earth has to procreate. Everything. Ain't nothing nasty or dirty about it either. God blessed us with the gift of attraction. How we could create friendship with one another. How we can grow and keep making good people on the planet. Somebody say amen. amen. Those three animals can do it. And they can do them better than we can do it. They ain't worried. They gonna eat, and when they get enough, they gonna quit. I wish I could do that. <laughs> they gonna utilize just enough control, usually to get where they need to go. I wish I could do that too sometimes. And on the sexual front, they have no shame in the game. It's all about what God has given them to make sure that there's others that follow, that are strong. We seem to have a problem with that. So we passed the first three, now we're into the fourth one, and this is what separates us from other animals. The ability to love. Thank you, Patrick. The ability to love. And if you don't know anything about it, you need to know something about it. Because God is what? I like to say it another way. Love is what? God. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. So every time you're exercising love, you are exercising the creator's prerogative. Because love is God. God is love, love is God. But what God distinguishes most important for human beings is that we can express love unconditionally. Wow. Now that's a different take. Unconditional love. Wow. Love in spite of love that goes to any limb. Love that's all powerful. Love that can go from here to there and never get tired. If you don't know anything about it, read Romans 13, 1 through 13. So you need to remember. 13, 13. You want to know something about love? There it is. A great sonnet on love. Shakespeare, all the writers, all the poets, all the artists on the planet talk about love. And without it, life would be pretty boring. I don't like being bored. How many like being bored? I don't like being bored. Life would be boring unless there was love in our life. Agape love. Brotherly love, eros, love of attraction. But we are talking about agape love. Now that you have love in your life, you've distinguished yourself from animals, you move on closer to God through prayer and meditation. I was talking to the, the football team about something that I want to press on you. We talked about it last week. And I want you to remember it as a formula. P, T, F equals R. <laughs> Persistent prayer plus faith equals reality. You don't have the reality you want? Pray about it. Be persistent in your prayer and believe that God will manifest in your life. Can y'all hear me? Good. God will manifest in your life what you're praying about. P, P, what? F equals what? R. Now, it's not the theory of relativity like Einstein, but it works for us when you believe. The power of belief supported by persistent prayer can change anything. Hallelujah. 
Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Y'all don't say it like I say it. <laughs> hallelujah. Glory. You know, sometimes you have to give a shout out to the Lord. When he's done something good for you, you just raise your hand and say, hallelujah. Glory. You know, God hears that. You don't hear that too much in the Presbyterian church, but. <laughs> 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 but you do know how to say amen. 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 Right say amen. Better than we do down the top. But amen. All right. Now, so you cross this bridge, crossing this bridge now. You've learned about love. You're crossing this bridge with prayer and meditation, moving toward God. And now, level six, you begin to connect with the universe. What I was talking to the kids about. The divine melody. You begin to hear it. See, through prayer and meditation, you empty yourself out and become a hollow bamboo. See, a hollow bamboo has nothing in it. And when you become a hollow bamboo through prayer and meditation, God fills you up with his melody. You're listening to different music now. You're listening to music that can connect you to the universe. That can connect you to nature. That connects you to what God intended you to be from the very beginning. Now you can feel love. You can feel patience. You can feel kindness. You can forgive. You can forget. You can let it go. Somebody say, let it go. I don't know if I just got a southern voice or what, yeah? <laughs> what? Sometimes the pain can get so great that you just have to let it go. Let it go. When you connect to God and God fills that hollow bamboo up with his divine melody, you begin to sing a new song. You begin to understand what those 12 and 12, that 24, the 12 tribes of Israel and the 12 disciples who were standing around God's throne worshiping him and that rainbow that was over the top of his head, you begin to see it, you begin to feel it, you begin to know that I'm on my way, Lord. And nothing can stop me. Then you reach that seventh level. You connect with God. Now you know what eternal life is, amen? Now you know what heaven is, amen? You, now you know what the kingdom of God is, amen? Now you know what everlasting life is, amen? Now it's in your DNA, and you know that there is no death. You know that I'm going to live forever in God. Oh, fear God. You ain't worried about dying now. I love those mothers of the church who sit on the front row. They don't say much. And every time, every opportunity, usually you get an opportunity to go to the hospital when they're getting ready to transition. They've been in the church for 80 years. Sitting on that front row for 50. You go to the hospital. I remember a little seminary, that was me, getting out of seminary. And I went to the hospital to visit this mother of the church. And I didn't quite know what to do. I came into the room and she was at the end. And I said to her, Mother, can I pray for you? She reached out and grabbed my hand. And she said, Son, can I pray for you? Because I know who my maker is. 
I know who the creator is. I know who brought me on this planet. I know who brought me a mighty long way. I know my redeemer lives. I know, she said, where I'm going. And then she turned to me, and I was really in a bad way at that point. Because <laughs> she had shut me up. I was a little seminary trying to help an old lady, I thought. And then she said, how about you? I am following that it made no difference to her. James, you take the question right out of my mouth as we end this understanding of the divine melody. How about you? One more chord on. I can hear my Savior calling. We'll sing that as we end this. But I want you to really think about it this time. We're going to sing it. 593. The last stanza. Where he leads me, I'm going to follow. Please stand. He will give me grace and glory. Hallelujah. He will give me grace and glory. He will give me grace and glory and go with me, with me. All the way. While you're standing, let's say what we believe. It's in the bulletin. It's called Apostles' Creed. Together, I believe in God the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost. Born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pastor's power, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and set us on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence to come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 493 is one verse. 493, glory to his name. I'll give the benediction from up here, and I'm going to ask you to be seated for the congregational meeting.
Amen. <laughs> nomination of someone to fill one seat on the session and I'll take nominations. Is there any nominations? I nominate Gapieta. She's uh, agreed to. Wonderful. Are there other nominations? <laughs> the nomination has been closed. <laughs> Second, second. All in favor that we close on Elsie, let me know by saying aye. Aye. Folks, say sign. Don't hear no no's. She's agreed to serve by acclamation. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs> wow, that was a quick congregational meeting. My goodness, we're close with prayer. Let us pray. Amen. Mighty God, we thank you for all that you do and all that 
you say to us, bless us as you've blessed us with the service. Allow us to leave here both fortified and filled with your spirit to do your will each and every day. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do I ever hear a motion to adjourn? <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. <laughs>